welcome to your reading message from your future self. So today we have oracles and tarot to get the message and I will have an interactive part in the end. You will get to ask a question to yourself, to your future self. But in order to receive a message from your future self, you have to put it in the universe. Like you have to start sending messages to your past self or messages to your future self or um, other way is a higher self message okay but if you want your conscious self to create to co-create you have to start sending messages okay <laughs> communicate with yourself so what i got for for your cards king of wands uh, four of swords reversed knight of wands reversed and three of pentacles for those who care about the cards the message is quite clear and quite straightforward here okay let me put the cards closer so it's about something in your life or whether is it um something that you are passionate about maybe a talent that you have and you want to fulfill but you are kind of you don't dare to do it it's a passion you have maybe you don't feel like uh, you are gifted enough or like you don't feel like you are talented enough or you are just afraid like there is some negativity in your ear telling you to not do it even though if you do it you would be like successful and it would be a thing for you to do uh, because if you want it it means like kind of you have to do it you know but if you don't do it because you are afraid, because there is like negative mindset that you have in your mind and it's blocking you, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. I feel like your future self with this King of Wands, I feel like they have achieved it, like you have achieved it in your future already. But uh, maybe you, you regret not starting sooner or like... You know, not believing in yourself soon enough. So this is what you are telling to yourself, like start to do it. It doesn't matter, like get off your ass and start doing it. It doesn't matter how passionate about it you are. It doesn't matter how much motivation you have or not. Uh, the motivation will come with the discipline. Okay, just get off your ass, stop talking shit to yourself and just start doing the things that you want to do. Okay, because otherwise you will regret it. Also in the future you find, um, you find people like you get to be at the right place at the right time. So this is going to help you as well. But you have to protect yourself. We have a card here to protect yourself uh, from all the negative energies and influences that are based on fear. Okay, so this is like the fear is blocking you. And this fear is going to manifest in a form of people telling you off, in a form of situations, in a form like it's manifest in weird ways. So you have to protect yourself like it's... Um, because it all starts in your mind because this is something that you are telling yourself like you are not good enough or something like that this negative mindset is creating and it's manifesting so you need to stop it right in the core like your future self is telling your past self like stop it right there because you don't want to be manifesting bad things just because you are afraid and your fear is manifesting for you. Okay? Like you need to be more conscious about it. This is cancel, clear, delete. You need to delete all the bad intentions, all the bad... Uh, whatever you are thinking, you know. I, I see that in me, but not so much in me anymore because I... But also uh, in a lot of other people, like the world is crazy, so now my life is going to be crazy as well. Why do you think so? Like, I remember a friend was telling me, oh, it's so hard for me to get a job, I'm a foreigner. Like, 
it's, it doesn't, the world doesn't work like that. Even though it looks like that, it doesn't work like that. Don't give yourself wrong mindsets, wrong negativity. Just because in general it looks like it might be harder, it doesn't mean it's impossible. Miracles happen every day, but you need to let them happen. You are blocking them. You're blocking the miracles. And then you wonder why, why is stuff not moving and why are you not moving forward? So this is what you need to protect yourself from. Like do some something cleansing. Like when you clean your home, put some, I don't know, protection around your home, protection in your home, protect yourself, like clear your thoughts. There are spells to even clear your mind and any kind of cleansing would do, okay? But catch yourself when you think these thoughts. Like just because something is happening in the world, just because it's a general, like economy is going down, there is always like the, the disasters in the world happen all the time, in this way or another. Okay, but there is always some people that lose in the disasters and some people that win in the disasters. So try to be on the winning side just by not being negative. Okay, if you think that this is the only thing that can happen to you, it's going to <laughs> happen to you. So start thinking out of the box. Okay, this is what I want to say. Okay, let's see what was in the bottom of the deck. Eight of Cups, <laughs> oh my god, and it's in reverse. So you need to stop dwelling on what went wrong. Uh, so yeah, you might have tried some stuff and it went wrong and this is what made you repeat the wrong parts over and over again. It's like you've been doing a loop. Yeah, I try something, I fail, and better I don't try at all. But don't do this, okay? Because the more you try, the more chances you have. And every time you try, you can try with the different mindset. You can implement something different. You can learn something new. So this is what you need to overcome and grow up from on this stage, at this point in your life, okay? Let's see what questions did you ask for yourself. I don't know how many questions you want to ask. I'm just going to go with the flow how many cards want to pop out. Okay, and what they want to tell you. So question for group one, message from your future self, question to your future self, to your higher self, or to your past self. Because they say, they say that time doesn't actually matter in the higher realms. We don't know that because we are where we are. <laughs> but yeah, they say that it doesn't. So let's believe what people say. Mm, a journey. So if you have been asking yes or no question, this is a maybe. This is a maybe it's going to be a ride and it's going to be a journey. If you've been asking about traveling, yes, go jump on it. Uh, if you've been asking about a process, it's going to be a long process. But it's all up to you. A maybe is always, you see, a maybe it means that it it is up to you in a sense, like how you let the miracles happen, how you open, like what I've been saying so far. If you manifest with negativity, it's going to be a no. If you manifest with positivity, if you allow yourself, it's going to be a yes. But whatever you're trying to achieve, it's going to take a while and it's going to be a journey. And if you want to travel, go and yes and go. And that's it. <laughs> okay. I hope this has been helpful to you. Thank you. Check out my other readings. And see you. Enjoy. Bye-bye.
YouTube to welcome to the message from your future self. This could be a message from your higher self or a message from your conscious self. A message from your conscious self in a case if you learn to send yourself messages because you can. You can start now. You can start sending messages to your past self, sending messages to your future self. Like, it's gonna transcend in time because they say time is relative and every thought, everything you think, everything you say, it's actual, it's actual object, you know, somewhere in the universe. So start sending and start catching those messages. So, but if you don't do it consciously, don't worry. You have, you got yourself, you got your own back in the higher realms. <laughs> so it's gonna be from those yourselves. We're gonna look at the cards. I have tarot, I have oracles. You got quite a lot of cards here. And also the interactive part is you can ask yourself a question. Your higher self, your future self, your past self, whatever. Uh, I'm going to answer it with these cards in the end. But let's look what came out. It's quite interesting what came out. I'm going to probably have to pause later to check the meanings of these cards. I don't feel them right uh, just now, but let's see what is in the tarot ones. Like, to me, judgment and two of uh, pentacles, it's like... This is the card that says you're juggling two things. So with the judgment, is like you're going to have to take a call right now. Which one you're going to concentrate on? Okay. And when you take the call, when you're making a decision, what you're going to concentrate on? Uh, because you're going to have to put a bit more work into one area of your life. Okay. So if you're juggling like... Your... Uh, <laughs> your uh, friendship life or your social life with your work and career life i feel like this is the two things that are being weighed weighted here okay so is it time for you to settle down or get a bit serious <laughs> you might want to get a bit more serious and start to think about your career and start to think about the things that you didn't want to think about, that you did uh, resolving the problems you didn't want to resolve. Okay, also with the cups here, yeah, you're being offered a cup. You kind of don't, don't want to take it or you're not taking it very seriously. This could be an emotion from the past, something that is like really bothering you and you need to really heal it and deal with it. It's time to get serious, okay? Stop running into parties and into, you know, having a good time just for the sake of avoiding responsibility because this makes you have more responsibilities because nothing is actually being done and it's just piling up. That's why you need to get a bit more serious and start to resolve stuff so that you don't get overwhelmed anymore emotionally and physically and in any way. And maybe now you're young and you think, yeah, I can do it, but um, the effort you put in today is going to pay off tomorrow, you know the interests come later so with the ace of pentacles here i think it's time for you to get clear and get cooking on your uh, financial life with the hangman he's in reverse isn't he <laughs> it's time for you to get off the stuck stuck part and it's time for you to start looking at things in a bit more mature way not as you were before, okay? The Page of Swords, like... For some of you, you might want to uh, go study about something. Maybe even go back to school for those of you who quit or... You know, or if it's something that you want to do in your financial pa uh, part, yeah, maybe it's time for you to start learning more and expanding your knowledge and expanding your craft. But it's more about knowledge and horizons, opening up your horizons so that you can uh, start working more of efficiently. 
I don't know why is this so much about. <laughs> this is like your future, like self is so serious. Oh my god. Like, okay, <laughs> when is the time to have fun? <laughs> and it's very interesting that the card that you got is blessed and is number 22. And the uh, card that you have by the book and it's number 11. 22 11 for me is uh, so is a, like a um, sign that you are on the right path. Okay, so you're doing it already, but you're going to have to do it more intensively, I think. And it's Unfinished Symphony. Yeah, if you have some studies, unfinished exams, you need to get cooking, okay? Get ready and do it. Do it and finish it so that you can have your hands more free, so that you can go more in the direction that you want to go, okay? Even if you're juggling like m too many friends and too many people, like start start discerning who is okay to stay, who needs to get a little less of you, okay? Like your time has to be managed properly here and your energy. With the blessed and by the book. This is what I've got from the energy, what I told you about the cards, but I want to pause here and check what the meanings are. Maybe we got some more. Okay, so I checked this card blessed and it's interesting. You see, it's kind of stuck to the Ace of Pentacles and the original meaning of Ace of Pentacles is that you're going to be getting some money and some material stuff and blessed is stuck together. So you will be getting some money. You will be manifesting some good money here because you i feel like you have this young life full energy uh, that that's why you are like all over the place because you have so much energy but this energy is so powerful and use it because you can manifest big things right now okay i did not check by the book but let's see yeah it's all about the universal laws it's all about the Respecting the laws and respecting the, um, you know, just going by the book. So it, it's kind of like you want to tell yourself, do, do it, but do it correctly. Okay. Don't uh, stray, focus and do it the way that you are not going to be regretting later. So be honest in your endeavors. Uh, go deeper into it um, if you are in a relationship like go deeper into a relationship don't be just a little bit here and a little bit there like dig in okay dig the soil and do it the way it needs to be done because at this moment it's like your future self is telling you have this strength and energy that you can make happen whatever you want to make happen if you just focus and concentrate and this is not necessarily how it's gonna be for the rest of your life like you have to be really grateful for what you have at the moment and you need to create from where you are now ask yourself a question it can be a yes or no question. It can be any kind of question. Whatever you need to know from yourself. Okay, this one. Oh, already wanted to be. A pleasant letter. So if it was a, a yes or no, it's a yes. And you're going to be getting some pleasant messages from somebody. Okay. Let's do more. I feel like this pile wants to... You got more cards than the first one and you got more energy than the first pile. So this pile wants to have more questions answered. Also, if it when it comes to love and that you might be meeting someone soon if you are single because you have so much energy. Oh my God. Again, a yes and also a marriage. When you know when I said like go deeper into your relationships, maybe this is what you're going to do now. So it's a green light to marry someone. 
okay it's a green light to i don't know move in with someone it's a green light to commit to something because marriage is also commitment and we say here stop juggling two things commit to one concentrate on one and it might be the one that you think it's not so glamorous but it's maybe the best for you at the moment so this is quite a cool message that you got from your future self. So keep on manifesting, keep on enjoying your life and creating. Don't forget to send messages to your past self. Yeah, make yourself do better than you did. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. I hope it helped and you enjoyed it. See you. Bye bye. from your future self let's see what your future self has to tell you this is like a message from your higher self or if you do it consciously you have to start doing it today okay you have to start sending messages to your past self and make it like a habit so that you would be able to you know co-create in this timeless times <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, it's just like already we are here for ourselves in the higher realms but we are also here in the lower realms because we are like manifesting and we are like learning to manifest okay so ooh. so when we are sending messages to ourselves we are helping with these manifestations we are helping ourselves with the manifestations and we are consciously creating the world that we live in okay interesting what you are getting so the first message is like be strong like strength card be strong and keep persevering because you might be going through some difficult times right now and it might seem crazy and like you you can't anymore like you can't deal with it anymore but uh, you need to stay strong here it will not last forever and it will get some something you will get something out of it okay so just with this full card here like go into the adventure just go into it, no matter how hard, no matter how crazy everything seems. Like King of Swords is in reverse, which his usual meaning in reverse you would be like he is like uh, calculated in a bad sense, like he would be hurting others. But I feel like with you is the message is here stop overthinking. You don't need to be calculating, you don't need to be worrying too much about stuff right now it's your time to shine and it's your time to be spontaneous and be crazy follow your heart follow your dreams follow your passions whatever you feel and wish to do this is the time to jump into it go ahead you will be making a decision about what to go ahead into right because you will be making some big decisions actually in this time and in this part of your life. Uh, start making decisions based on your heart. Even if it's like you see 10 of wands reversed, even if it's, it seems like a big bite to chew, um, don't, don't, uh, how, you, how would I say? Don't let it slip through your fingers just because it seems hard. Because this is something that is going to give you the ultimate fulfillment and the ultimate uh, wish in your life is going to come true. And it's going to give you like a sort of wisdom and it's going to give you some sort of... It's going to uplift you and make you wiser and better person okay so no matter how hard it seems you want to quit don't quit it go for it even though it, if it's like the other way around it looks like the other way around but it's the way to go Let, where is the deck i don't know where i put it 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, it's here. I wanted to check what's on the bottom. The bottom is Four of Pentacles. So Four of Pentacles is like claiming your energy to yourself, keeping it to yourself, like being almost an introvert. But here is asking you to do the opposite. Okay, it's asking you to step out a bit. It's asking you to stop overthinking every time, to stop thinking of every possible problem that could come in the way. You're going to be able to handle it, don't worry. And sometimes, like, if you ignore it, this is not a good advice for normally, but for you it's a good advice. Ignore the problems sometimes. Like, nothing has to be, like, not nothing, like, everything doesn't need to be solved just at the at that time, you know? It's gonna get, it can get resolved by itself or it can get resolved later and you, when you are wiser. <laughs> so at this time, it's just be strong and do it. These cards here are for you to ask a question to your future self or to your past self or to your higher self. What do you want to know about a person, situation, whatever, okay? It's also a yes or no deck. So you can also ask yes or no questions. So group three, yes, no, person, situation, whatever you need to ask, you need to answer your current self. So the reason why we're doing this reading, uh, this reading is so good is because like it prevents you from having regrets later in life. <laughs> First of all, Yes, okay, if you have asked a yes or no question, but it's a high honor card. You will get a high honor. And this is what I felt with this card as well. Like you will be wiser, better, stronger, like even you're going to be uh, recognized for it. So it's no time to think, it's time to do because you're going to do just fine. You're going to do more than fine. Okay, you're going to get a recognition for what you are doing. This is like a very cool message from yourself. Like I almost said goodbye right now. No, we have these cards. And I've been looking forward for this deck to use it after a long time. It has, this is Archangel Raphael healing cards. Okay. It's, and the energy of this deck is so mild and it's so like it, it gives kind of like out of the box messages but it also it's like very healing alternative medicine hmm so yeah if you are going through some health issues this is the the alternative way is going to help you but also if you are thinking uh, to do some sort of alternative medicine or, or just taking an alternative path, an alternative is anything that is not mainstream. You know, these days they don't let us too much to heal with, <laughs> with natural stuff. So maybe this is the way for you to go. Don't overthink it, just go into it because it's going to give you good insights and it's going to help you. It's quite straightforward and you probably know what I'm talking about. And then we have Jesus, the God's healer. Oh, okay. I'm not too much into Christianity and all that, but like Jesus was a healer, right? So he could heal the blind, he could heal the invalid he could heal everything just by his presence just by his healing power and it's not that he had some sort of power he, he was uh, very good with um twisting the reality with his mind so this is why the alternative could help you because you are also probably good at it and just if you believe it and just if you like, okay, I understand the tarot cards now even a bit better than before. Like, you don't have to know the how 
how it's gonna happen you just need to uh, put yourself on the path like with um, affirmations or with whatever the path of believing that it is there already okay you have healed already you have achieved already and this is how you put yourself into the vibration of it being achieved and this is how you manifest or a health problem going away or any sort of issue that you have that is bringing you worry and anxiety and fear it's going to come to an end just by you transcending it okay so it's going to be the same way that jesus healed the blind you're going to heal yourself the same way okay i'm telling you this is the message for you and it's like quite a remarkable one so now it is at the end and i hope it does help you and think about it like neville goddard um florence Kovacin, and all these they have this super method of manifesting and it's um, not all not just about law of attraction it's more about the law of assumption and this is how you can heal yourself so thank you check out my other readings see you and bye bye <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,